ka beloved in Christ. Hallelujah. We give all the glory to our master Jesus. Today is another day. He has given us a breath. It is very important. He alone can do it for you and I. So beloved, it is time to pray. Almighty Jehovah, our Lord and our shepherd, the King of glory. This is another day for your children around the whole world. It is by your mercy, it is by your love, it is by your compassion that we are still alive. To you alone be the glory forever and forever. We thank you that today we are breathing. Oh, immortal, everlasting God, take all your glory, take all your honor for giving us a breath. Unto thee, O oh Lord, with you, all things are possible. We honor you. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Beloved, he has given us a word. And the title of the message is The Spirit of Life in Christ Jesus. It is him alone. So let us read. Romans 8, from 2 to 9, and let us hear the word of God. For the law of the spirit of life is in Christ Jesus, has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God did by sending his own son in likeness of sinful flesh on account of sin. He condemned sin in the flesh that the righteous requirements of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit for those who live according to the flesh, set their mind on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the spirit, the things of the spirit, for to be a carnal minded is death. But to be spiritual minded is the life and peace. Because the carnal minded is an enmity against God. For it is not a subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be eight. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit dwell, if indeed God's spirit dwell in you, now, if anyone, does not have the spirit of Christ. He is not his. Amen. Beloved, the spirit of life is in Christ. So he is asking us this morning, do we all have the spirit of life in Christ? This is a question. Those who are carnal minded, they are not in the spirit of flesh. They are in the spirit of flesh, but not the spirit of Christ. Beloved, he has asked a question that the law could not do it because of what? It was weak through the flesh. This flesh cannot please God. This flesh, it's an enemy to God. So if you are in this flesh, you are a carnal minded. And the spirit of God is not in you. So if you don't have Christ, there is no way you have the spirit of God. So this morning, it is a choice not to be carnal, but rather to be spiritual and walk 
with the Holy Spirit. As the Holy Spirit is the life that we have, we are living this end time with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is our teacher. Holy Spirit is our comforter. Holy Spirit is our guide. And Holy Spirit is our friend. So this morning, my question is, do you dwell in the spirit of God? Do you fellowship with him? Do you know him? Do you talk to him? Do you worship the Lord God Almighty? It is the Holy Spirit who gave us the utterance. So beloved, he is asking us to be a carnal person is to death. That means you don't know Christ. And Christ came to save you and I. So it is time to change your mind. That your mindset, that is kinda, will take you to nowhere, but it's taking you to death. And when you don't have Christ, that means you don't have Christ dwelling in you. And if you don't have Christ, where are you heading to? Without Christ, everything is useless. So beloved, this is the day that you have to set your mind upon the Lord. This is the day for repentance. This is the moment. Tomorrow it will be too late. So this morning, he is asking us, the spirit of life in Christ, have you accepted him? Have you invited him? Have you accepted Christ? as your personal savior, this is the moment. So it is a choice. We continue with Re Revelation 21 and the verses three. Let us hear the word of God in Revelation 11. Revelation, rather, Revelation 21 and the verses three. Let us hear the word of God. And I heard, and I, and I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be, they are God. Beloved, God will dwell with men. It is the Holy Spirit that dwells with us. So God is asking us that he will dwell with men. So this morning, have you given yourself to him? Have you invited the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, come and dwell with me? If the spirit of God does not dwell in you, you are not a child of God. And you don't know Christ. So this morning, it is time that you change your mind and invite the Holy Spirit, the comforter. He dwell in us, but have you activated him? Do you do the things that he wants? Are you living a holy life so that he will be with you? Do you fellowship him? Do you invite him? Do you do what the Holy Spirit wants? We should not quench the Holy Spirit. This end time, we are living with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Beloved, let us change our thought. Let us change our mind. It will be too late by tomorrow when the trumpet sounds. Where are you heading to? He said he would dwell with men. So are you prepared to invite the spirit of God to come and dwell with you? This is the hour. So this morning, he is telling us that God will dwell with us. It is a privilege. So. Let us make our mindset and run from sin and do the right thing before our God, Jehovah, 
holy life and also be righteous before God. And when the trumpet sound, he is coming to pay his elect, the saint, those who know him. Don't you want to be a part to go with the Lord? Beloved, let us change our mind. Let us make our mind. Our mindset has to be changed right now so that we accept Christ, our personal savior. We thank him for giving us a way. It is the day for repentance. Tomorrow will be too late. So beloved, the word has come forth. It is a choice. Make up your choice. Make up your mind to go with the Lord or to be separated with the Lord. May his name be praised for giving us a word. Unto thee, O Lord, we thank you that your word has come forth. Thank you, our Savior. Thank you, our King. Thank you, our Lord, Spirit of the living God. I take this opportunity that you will bless your end time prophet and their family and also his viewers. Whatever their heart desire, may you provide it unto them. Unto you, O oh Lord, would you all things are possible. In Jesus Christ, your name, your word have come forth. Amen.